move fast, take risks. It's okay to try big things. You're better off trying something and having it not work and then learning from that than having not done anything at all. The thing that we are trying to do at Facebook is just help people connect and communicate more efficiently. That when you give everyone a voice and give people power, the system usually ends up in a really good place. So what we view our role as is giving people that power. I started Facebook when I was 19, right? So I was just a kid, right? And I knew nothing about business and nothing had ever been written about me. So a lot of these experiences along the way have been really new and it took me some getting used to. I mean, we really believe that um, if you give people the right tools and you give people permission um, and, and control over who they want to share it with, then over time they will share more information just because it, it creates value for them to be able to build out their identity and communicate with all these different people. Well, the thing that's really important is that we need to give people complete control over their information. Right? People need to be able to say exactly who they want to share each piece of information that they're sharing. You know, when, when you have a website, just having someone be able to come and log in um, gives you some information about them and some context on who they are. But through things like Facebook Connect, you can really understand who the person is and be able to tailor your product to it. And, and I think it really comes down to what the core need is that the, that the service is addressing, which is that people want to stay connected with their friends and family. Everyone has friends and family. Um, everyone is part of a community. People want to see what's going on with the people in their community. Um, and that's really similar across every country. But what we're thinking about is, you know, we want to get as little dilution as possible and raise money on the most favorable terms. But, and we wanted a, we're building this relationship with Microsoft, and we have this ad relationship. We're doing several other things, and they wanted to buy a piece of the company. So we just discussed this, and, and this is what made sense. I'm really young, so I have to be thinking about the long term, you know, and how this stuff is going to play out. And I think that the way that you achieve the best long-term value is by building real value in the world. Are we actually helping them achieve their goal of understanding the world? And if we can do that, then I don't think we're going to have a hard time making a lot of money. Um, I mean, if you think about it, when you go to have a conversation with someone, um, if you know something about them going in, the more you know, the, the better of a conversation you can have, the better of kind of an interface you can, you can have and you can provide. Now, I, I don't think the products and marketing are really any different, right? I mean, the more you, um, you're able to customize and personalize um, the products that you offer and the marketing that you have, I just think the, the more effective it's going to be. When I got started in 2004, there was really no question I was going to build a website, right? I mean, um, software was kind of too hard to build, and, and I think most things were going to the web, so a lot of software development was on the way out, and mobile phones weren't um, penetrated enough yet, and the platforms weren't developed enough, so it's like, all right, you're going to build a website. The most important thing to me is to be within walking distance of the office, so every morning I can just wake up and walk five or ten minutes to work. A lot of it is just moving quickly and trying a lot of things. So at Facebook, we've really built our whole company and our culture around this. When people think about platforms, I think a lot of the time they think about a vertical, right? So for example, um, iPhone platform is an environment in which you can build iPhone apps and use a phone. Um, the type of platform that we're trying to build is horizontal in that it spans across all of these, right? We're trying to build an environment where, where people can um, build people-centric uh, applications and design stuff in, in this personalized way everywhere, you know, whether it's on the web, um, on Facebook, on your own websites, in mobile applications, across all platforms. We have this tradition of having hackathons, which are events where all of our engineers and really the whole company get together and stay up all night just building things. In, in economics, there's the concept of elasticity, right? When the efficiency of doing something goes up, um, the demand for it goes up. And I think that this applies not only to how people use Facebook, but to how marketing is going to work and how development is going to work as well, right? The easier it is to build products, um, the more people build products. The more effective the marketing gets, the more people are going to advertise. When people don't care about what someone says about you in a movie, um, or even what you say, right? They care about what you build. Famously, Zuckerberg's little college campus networking site grew so fast, he was offered a billion dollars by Yahoo two years later. And he said no. When, when I dropped out of college um, to start working on Facebook full time out here, um, I, I later talked to my mom about it, and she told me that she knew that I was going to drop out of college. <laughs>